before he retired. So the road has brought us up here to Rome, Georgia. We're going to see the Braves play. Not the Atlanta Braves, the Rome Braves. We're at State Mutual Stadium, and tonight they are remembering Hank Aaron. And everyone that, uh, or at least the first 755 people that come into the stadium, they're going to receive a Hank Aaron jersey. So that's kind of one of the reasons I'm here tonight. If you wonder why 755, that's the amount of home runs Hank hit in his career. So we're going to go into their uh, team store and it's called the Trading Post and we're going to see about uh, maybe getting us a new hat. One of the logos for the Rome Braves. $40. Now I was, they've also got Atlanta Brave shirts. And they've also got the Danville Braves hats. The Danville, <coughs> the Danville Braves are no longer in existence. It's been replaced by the Danville Otter Boxes. They were in Virginia. Another uh, farm team of the Atlanta Braves. Search for the little ones. So sadly tonight, I wasn't able to get one of the uh, jerseys they were giving away. I got here a little bit too late. They were only giving away 755, so I wasn't one of the lucky ones to get one. But I was able to pick up one of these sweet Rome Braves hats. The Rome Braves are a single A affiliate.
bought this ticket today. Now you can't beat minor league tickets. This one was twelve dollars, but I bought it through uh, Ticketmaster. It cost me seventeen dollars and one cent. And this is how close I am to the field. Now I am on the visitor side, just three rows back from the field. Now tonight the Rome Braves are playing the Asheville Tourist. They're a farm team of the Houston Astros. And we're about to get underway here. And there's your first pitch of the game. In honor of Hank Aaron, they're wearing the 1974 jerseys tonight. These retro uniforms, they look really, really good. Thanks, Tony. Hey, Bruce fans, I'm here with Ken Dale for Hank, Aaron, and Trivia, and here is how it works. We're going to ask you three multiple choice questions, and you must get two out of three right in order to win. Can you do it? That's right. Can he do it, ladies and yeah. gentlemen? Yes, he can. Let's take a look at the first question. Where was Hank Aaron? So right now, after two and a half innings, the Braves are behind, six to nothing. Thanks, Tony. Hey, Bruce fans, it is time for Dancing in the Dark. Here is how it works. We have four kids blindfolded right now. We're going to play music, and they are going to start dancing. One by one, we will slowly eliminate them, and the last one, left dancing, will win. So after five innings, the Braves kind of had a rally at the end of the fifth, where they hit a home run and then scored a run. Score now six to two. Right there's a guy with probably the best name on the field tonight, Matt Barefoot. Looks like there uh, may be a little bit of bad weather on the way. So I think we're gonna go through and see about getting something to eat. So we've got Bubba's Barbecue Barn. I try the Grand Slam, it's uh, burgers, dogs, nachos. Over here you got popcorn at the Island Oasis. Looks like they've got the uh, peanuts and Cracker Jacks, cotton candy, snacks like that. And over here we got the Chick-fil-A. And we got sliders. So I opted for the uh, double cheeseburger fries and Powerade combo. Ended up being $20, so it looks pretty good. So for a ballpark burger, that's a pretty thick burger.
<clears throat> Just past the uh, seventh inning stretch, thought I'd give you a look at uh, the farthest or highest up seat here at the stadium on the first base side. And these seats up here, I think they're like less than $10. And if you're so inclined, uh, you can bring a blanket and sit out there on the grassy knoll. They've got one in uh, right field. And if we pan over, they've got one over in left field also. You can do it! With the top of the eighth, and the Asheville tourists are now ahead eight to two. I don't know if you can read the uh, foul poll, but it's sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Eat more foul. From up here in this angle, you got a really good view of the Braves dugout. Right down there is where I was sitting earlier, and the guy with the uh, Dale Murphy shirt on, he's been there the whole game trying to get one of the Asheville players to sign his ball. Now according to their website, or the website of the uh, Rome Braves and Minor League Baseball, the players cannot sign autographs or be asked to sign autographs during this time because of COVID. And they have been shaking their head at him, but then he'll fuss at them and then he asks them again. So not sure what he's trying to accomplish, but persistence may pay off. All right, we're at the bottom of the ninth. This is it for the Braves. They're behind eight to two. They're gonna have to score six runs in this inning just to tie. So it looks like their pitcher may have some uh, injury, something afflicting him, and they had to take him out. So, so a relief pitcher is gonna be brought in. And just for uh, perspective, the Asheville bullpen out under that scoreboard and the Braves bullpen is over there by that scoreboard. All right, we got two outs, bottom of the ninth. Runners on second and third, and Langhorn is up to bat. He's our last best hope. We got two strikes, two outs. And Mr. Autograph Man is still trying. And he struck out swinging. And that's the end of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, your final line score has to go eight runs, 15 hits, or whatever. The Braves, two runs, five hits, or whatever. Ah, so Mr. Autograph Hound, persistence does pay off. So this was the uh, first Rome Braves game I've been to in probably three, four, five years. I guess with COVID and things, they used to do a lot more with kids in between the innings, get them out on the field, and at the end of the game, they would let them go out and run the bases. But minor league games are awesome. You got to try them out. It's better than, I think, the big leagues because the food isn't quite expensive. The seats are very reasonable. And like here at State Mutual Stadium, every seat is a fairly good seat. 
and just about every seat you sit in is a chance that you might get a foul ball. And if you don't want to sit in the seat, you want to sit on the grassy area, they've got those tickets too. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the game. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, the road is closed.